Dude, Jeff or Skippy? Hello. Freedom. So I've been applying for Colorado for quite a few years and I just never found the time to make it happen. So, uh, here's ain't all gonna fit. No left hand turns? Oh well, my golly, we gotta go left. Twas a man to do. It's been a bucket list of mine for a really long time and turns out that uh, being a family man and having a business to run and dealing with COVID and cancer is, uh, makes it hard to get away sometimes for big trips like this. You know, the cool thing is I had a few of my friends that want to come on this trip with me. He's had a pretty good morning glassing session with Kelvin Trevor here. <laughs> and I invited one of my friends, Trevor, and we've never hunted together before. And he actually builds refrigeration units for a living. And so he built us this really cool um, walk-in freezer and cooler. We just have so many people that use our uh, llamas and bring game home after the hunts. They don't have a place to put all their game. And so uh, we just really needed one of these for our business. So I was really excited to to get that. It was a perfect opportunity for him to come and hunt and deliver the walk-in cooler freezer and get a hunt together. And then my buddy, uh, Kelvin, you know, bless his heart, the guy has uh, had a tough road the last couple years. Man, I've just been really wanting to get together with that guy. And it seems like when you have good people that you care about and go spend time together doing something that you really are passionate about and enjoy, this seems to kind of lift some of your burdens and give you a fresh look at things. And I think Kelvin and I both needed that a little bit. He's a Marine and he's a veteran and he just lost his uh, grandfather who raised him and uh, lost his mom this year. And so just a lot of heavy stuff going on in his life. Kelvin's a great hunter and uh, so is Trevor. And so I was excited to get together with these guys. And unfortunately, there's quite a few over the counter Colorado elk tags available, especially where we were going. There were, uh, <clears throat> they're just over the counter. So you can just pick them up and you know, the day you're gonna go hunting. And, you know, uh, we ended up having some pretty good success on the Colorado over-the-counter elk hunt <laughs> and uh, so now now it's time to focus on the deer hunting you always have a thought in your head you know you're like okay look at the maps you look at the topography you look at all the different satellite imagery you talk to people it just doesn't equate to what it is once you're here you feel it well we got to our campsite fortunately nobody was here which is nice and uh, when you're Hunted backcountry, you don't have to worry about that too much. But we're at camp and we've got about an hour before dark and a lot of stuff to do. We're excited, ready to rock and roll, so it's a good thing we have motivation. So uh, we're gonna get this sucker set up and kind of get going from there. Good morning. It's our first real full day of deer hunting. The season's wide open, so we found some deer in that area. About five, six miles away from our truck camp, and it's hiking only, which is awesome. Ready for that? Get off these roads, and we're gonna go glass, hike, glass, hike, glass, and see what we can turn up today. And um, we're gonna start at the highest point and kind of work our way all the way down to the through the basin and see what happens. So, wish us luck today. We're excited and feeling grateful to be out here in Colorado deer hunting. Man, today this morning has been eventful. <laughs> It has been so crazy. We have seen, I don't know, five or six bucks, six or seven bucks, something like that. But two bucks that are really nice. One of them's on private a long ways away. The other buck is just right behind us, about 1,400 yards. And he kind of just fed up and over the ridge. I'm guessing he didn't go too far. And uh, I would definitely shoot that buck on the last day. Which I'm asking myself, why didn't I sh why wouldn't I shoot him today? And I guess the answer is, then the fun stops. <laughs> I know that if we continue the hunt, it'd be great to find a, you know, a little bit bigger mule deer, a little bit more mature mule deer than that one up there. But uh, that also means that we might go home empty-handed at this point, because finding a bigger one that's really hard to do. <laughs> 
That was a beautiful deer. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. We're not gonna go really fast, so we're just gonna slow, go slow on glass and slow on glass till we get to that vantage point. I'm guessing we'll get up there that we'll find a place that we really want to go that looks looks better. But this this one's about two miles away and looks pretty good. We got a fresh uh, scrape. We got still got green bark on the inside. Looks like the elk, or sorry, the deer. Get ready to rot. That's what we wanted to hear. <laughs> well, the wind, uh, about 5.30, we had about an hour left of glassing or so. And then the wind picked up like crazy, so we dropped off the canyon um, rim just to glass a little bit. And basically, we're gonna kind of glass the last half hour down and around. I doubt there's gonna be very many deer out. We haven't seen any since 11:30 this morning, and the wind's just blowing, you know, burst up to 40 miles an hour. It's pretty intense. It's the close of another day on the mountain, back to the trailhead, and uh, it was a great day. Filled like, you know, a lot of other days in the backcountry mule deer hunting. <laughs> um, I guess we're not really in the backcountry, we're more in the front country. But anyway, uh, some excitement, some lows, lots of wind, but just a really wonderful day. The stars are coming out, you can see the sky a little better tonight, so I think most of the storms should be pushing off i think is what it looks like so we'll see what tomorrow brings um, we saw some nice deer quite a few deer this morning and almost nothing this, this evening's just a few there the wind goes picking back up again but uh we're gonna go back to camp and get ready for another day on the mountain morning it's another beautiful day in mule deer country and uh, clear sky so we can see plenty of stars so my guess is that the deer are going to move pretty good this morning it's not going to be super glassing because it's kind of windy but i kind of got a feeling that you know mid morning is going to die down um, it's just a beautiful morning already it's awesome we took the side by side up and around the mountain so we're coming in from the back side so we basically ended up climbing <clears throat> Uh, 3,000 feet with a side-by-side -side, and then we have the hike even further up the mountain to get to our glassing spot. So it's the afternoon hunt, it's uh, about 3.30, and it's uh, 60 degrees, <laughs> right on the nose. Uh, we got a nice lunch in, and we just kind of drove around trying to get a fill of the unit. And we've seen a 170 inch deer in here, and we've seen quite a few does from afar, and uh, there's an old mine in here, so we're gonna go check it out. It's a pretty good section, it's uh, roadless. And uh, even though we don't know there's a big buck in here, we're gonna head after him and see if we can turn something up. Trevor's with us tonight, and uh, he's probably one of the best glassers I know. And so we'll see what kind of skill set he brings to the table. I told him that I'd um, cook him dinner, which I'm gonna do anyway, if he finds me a big buck. So, no that... two points tonight. He's always trying to get me to shoot a two point. <laughs> I am not shooting a two point. I only do that when Wade's with me. <laughs> All right, we got about two miles or so, or we're just gonna kind of glass and, and mosey along, glass and mosey along, and uh, see what we can turn up. So we decided to stay down low because we're thinking the wind's gonna pick up really hard tonight. It's already blowing, you know, five to 10 miles an hour. So we'll see what happens. Wish us luck. Good luck.
Good morning. It's uh, getting now down to the end of our hunt, and we had a game plan last night to go somewhere totally different. But then I woke up this morning and thought, you know what, this is where we're gonna go. So here we are. Really hope that uh, with all of us up here together, this is our last morning with everybody here, that uh, maybe we can turn up a buck. So really hoping things go well this morning. Well, it's been a good morning of glassing. All I, all I found is does and small bucks. Trevor found a really big buck um, over on this draw, but we've actually seen two nice bucks now. But he thinks this buck is really amazing. And then right out in front of us, um, Galvin actually saw a nice little buck. Um, he's got some cheaters on his G3 coming out on each side. Uh, twin G cheaters. And uh, there's a, a section of private. It's a chunk of private, a square. It's 450 yards by 450 yards. And he's dead smack in the center of it. <laughs> so if he goes off of that spot one way or the other, he'd be legal to shoot. But uh, man. It's been a good morning. Your hair looks kind of crazy. Oh, <laughs> I'm good. He, he's laughing way too hard. No, we're good. Anyway, Headed. so we're going to go back. We've got to swap all, out the freezer from one trailer to the next trailer. And then uh, we're going to cook a big breakfast for the boys. And then uh, take a ride up to the top of the mountain and go hiking in <laughs> Glassman Country. What's so funny, Tyler? He's got to <laughs> quit laughing. <laughs> We've got a big uh, peak right here, or a little rock cliff that we're going to go glass from just for a second. Because in this big, huge drainage, we've seen a handful of pretty nice mule deer bucks. And uh, you might ask yourselves, like, why aren't we killing these deer? Well, one of the biggest deal is that to see this, you have to be a long ways away looking in at it. And then uh, there's been so much pressure below it and there's private below it that we haven't paid much attention to it until this morning. And we've kind of figured out what the deer are doing. The bucks are not really with the does. They're up high and they kind of come out of the big timber patches and check things out and then they go right back in. And so by the time we see the deer, we have to travel two or three miles away to go get to them by vehicle or four-wheeler. And then we got to hike in a mile to two miles. And so getting on them because they're coming out in such short stints we have 45 minutes in the morning to glass and move on deer. And where they're going, they're getting these huge timber thickets where you can't, you don't know where they bed. If they're in small spots with just a sparse timber, we'd be able to know where they bed. So it's just been really tough. In the evening, they might stand up for 10 or 15 minutes and then bed right back down. So we just haven't hardly seen any deer at night. So it's just proved to be really tricky. I think in the morning, depending on how tonight goes, in the morning we're gonna sit right here and just watch and be patient and see if we can see some deer. So that's kind of our game plan. Um, we want to go actually look at this right now to see if it's any good at all. Well, we uh, got here about three o'clock and glassed all this country. Between all of us, we saw um, basically a doe and a buck and then right where we thought this buck would come out tonight, the big buck, um, a two point came out. And that other deer, that big buck had deer with him, we just didn't know what they were. So we had the scope dialed, ready to rock and roll, and we ran out of light, and sometimes you run out the clock, and sometimes it runs out on you. <laughs> and tonight, it uh, ran out on us. My dad used to always say this phrase, um, que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. And uh, tonight, we didn't get a meal there. Tomorrow's our last day of hunting, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. We got a little bit of a hike back to the side by side, and then we'll carry on out back to camp and have uh, one last nice dinner meal with everybody before Trevor has to head home. And what a, it's a beautiful day. Clear skies, no wind. Big guy just didn't step out for us, so we just ran out of time. Thanks for uh, staying tuned and checking in with us, watching the hunt. We got one more day to try to make it happen. Oh, there's some more. This is candy paint.
Do you want veggies or no veggies? Good morning, everybody. It's the last day of our hunt today, and uh, we're pretty hopeful. We got a couple of big bucks that have been in that uh, this drainage, and we're going to go above it and below it and see if we can get one out of there. We got luck on our side, I think, this morning. Pretty excited. We're going up there really early just to kind of make sure we get the, in the right position beforehand and see what first light brings. You know, you just never know what's going to happen. Hoping for a good thing, man. It'd be so cool. We could find a buck in there this morning and um, get close enough to get a shot. So we'll see. Wish us luck. We've been glassing all over the place trying to find this deer this morning and. We found a buck down there, but the wind's so glad, going so glad we can't see much. So we're just gonna see if we can pick him out. We're sitting here glassing these bucks, and then we just realized they're just barely on the private. Two big bucks. <laughs> Two shooters. Yeah, one's a wall hanger. He's back to feeding. Here we go, Bo. Deep breaths, we got all day. We're good. Good shot, Hit. back hind rear. Hind rear, cock one in him again. He definitely got a lung, he's, he's stumbling. Low next to that oak brush, that dead tree. Got it. Nice! Hit. Down. Drilled him. Yeah, bud. Got him. Dude, the sun is just coming at my eye. That's all right. Got it done though, brother. I did, I was like, Brett, what is that? He looks over me. He's like, it's a buck, man. <laughs> I love you too, man. <laughs> What a, what a team effort, huh? Yeah, Absolutely, man. man. Dude, I'm America. so grateful to have a mule deer. Oh, yeah, man. What a blessing, huh? Is that a Colorado first? First first Colorado deer. Nice, man. And on the state trust land, just like we wanted. Yep. <laughs> I'm a little taken back, man. We did it, guys. Did it, man. You guys, this is very cool. I don't even know how big it is, and I don't even care. Right? <laughs> That's why me and Brett were down here. He's like, is that what we're looking for? I was like, I don't know, but we're going to find out. <laughs> He's a legal buck. That's all I know. Yeah. And I'm, ha I'm very happy. My last morning of the last day. Freaking Jack, dude. <laughs> we haven't got to the deer yet, but... Uh, what a crazy morning, you know. We had all this great plan worked out and the big buck we were after went on to the private and uh, Kelvin wanted to come check out this backside where we were last night and he came and found a nice mule deer feeding into the timber and so he came in and got us and we hiked in here and he was in a different spot kind of feeding up and out and we just got really lucky. You know, I kept telling Tyler, it's like, we just need a little bit of luck, you know? And uh, I don't know if it was more luck or more teamwork, but we got a buck down. 
gave the old hell a handshake and it's exciting. We're still got to walk down and up the ravine and get over to him and Kelvin got in the <clears throat> side by side to go get Trevor. He's at camp. So we can, we did all this together, you know. This is teamwork from day one um, as far as scouting and looking the area, making the phone calls to friends that have hunted it before and uh, to share it with friends like this and it's just a team success and it's really, really cool. I'm so grateful for for these guys, you know first time coming to Colorado is pretty cool. I feel very blessed. Very grateful. And uh, we're going to go get over there and get them processed up and pack them out. Looks like, oh, it's about a three quarters of a mile to a mile pack out, so not bad at all. Wow. He's boxy, he says. Oh. You guys know something? What's that? Coincidentally, this is the exact same buck Tyler and I saw. No way! On the other side of the mountain. You serious? Yep. I can't believe it. Wait, you're saying the one that you had video of? Video. I bet. That's exactly what I would have guessed he would look like. Dude. <laughs> the last day we did it, man! I can't believe it. Can I just tap him right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about it, man? Dude. Can you believe it? Dude, he's a beautiful buck. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I am so jacked for you. Um, before we got the deer, I was planning on sharing my elk with both uh, with our whole crew. So, and now we got a meal there. There's more to go around. And uh, everyone talked about how much they wanted some wild game meat, and instead of being selfish and going on their own hunts, they wanted to all spend time together, and so we did. And we just got lucky and so we're going to share it all and I'm excited about that. This is awesome. Scouting, it's the most perfect meal there are ever. Love it. It's good. I tell people the only edible thing on a goose is the heart. 